the first time in nearly a decade, you'll find customers smiling at gas stations. But as the price of oil plummets, the pressure mounts for Nebraska's number one industry, the renewable energy connected to it. KATV News Watch Center's Dave Roberts is live inside the CenturyLink Center with this new story at 10. Dave? For many car buyers this year visiting the Midlands International Auto Show, Fuel efficiency really kind of takes a back seat to comfort and luxury. And while the pain at the pump may be a little less financial burden for you and your family, that low oil price means more competition for ethanol industry makers and ethanol producers and all of those Nebraska farmers. Are you more likely to buy an SUV like this if gas prices kind of stay where they are right now? Absolutely, especially have more room for kids and everything too. So it seems like a Good way to go. I like a little power under the hood, and, and uh, it just it doesn't bother me too much. Potential buyers approach this one stop shop for all makes and models with a different attitude. <coughs> However, the low fuel prices opening up the auto market could shrink profit margins for Nebraska's farmers and ethanol producers. But overall, the ethanol industry has to make an adjustment as well. Todd Becker, president and CEO of Omaha-based Green Plains, says his company can produce one billion gallons of ethanol a year. If every every citizen in Nebraska used ethanol at E85, they would not have to import any gasoline at all. As oil drops below $50 a barrel, and the price of corn maintains a relatively high price at 3.72 a bushel, ethanol producers make adjustments. How do you compare what it costs to right now refine and get a gallon of gasoline and then the cost to get a gallon of ethanol? Are you competitive when it comes to that? Yeah, absolutely. We're competitive all the way through 2015 and 2016. And so gasoline has actually come down to where ethanol is, and ethanol is not coming up where gasoline is. With roughly 40% of all Nebraska corn sold for ethanol, low oil prices may have a long-lasting effect on Nebraska's economy and what cars sell in 2015. Before, you might look at getting something that has better gas mileage with the EcoBoost and stuff, but right now, at $2 a gallon, pretty cheap. Despite the competitions from, e, you know, from cheap oil, Becker says that there is going to be E15 introduced to markets all over the nation. It's already in, being introduced right now, which is a higher ethanol blend. And right now, if you look around at many of the cars here at the Midlands International Auto Show, you'll see that they take anything from E85 all the way to regular unleaded. We're live at the CenturyLink Center. Dave Roberts, KETV, Newswatch 7. To the Health Watch.